Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to take a first look at the new FreeSky R9 Lite Pro long range module and the new Tyrannus X9D Plus 2019. First we need the Tyrannus X9 Lite Pro, you already have seen it in one of my further videos, the X9 Lite Pro comes with a small module bay. This radio is compatible with the FreeSky R9 Lite Pro long range module that comes with the new FreeSky Access protocol. In order to use the new Access protocol we also need a R9 OTA receiver with the Access firmware. Next we take the R9 Lite Pro module out of its box to take a closer look at it. Compared to the FreeSky R9M 2019 full size long range module, it's only half the size of the R9M, but it's as powerful as a full size one. With the R9 Lite Pro we can also use up to 1 watt output power. The R9M full size module isn't available with the access protocol yet, but I think FreeSky will also release a new full size R9M with the access protocol or maybe only a firmware upgrade. Next we are going to install the FreeSky R9 Lite Pro long range module in my Tyrannus X9 Lite Pro. Now we can switch on the X9 Lite Pro by long pressing the power button. Next I'm scrolling down to the internal RF. For only using an external RF you can switch off the internal one, but you can also select the access protocol or the old D16 protocol. In my case I only want to use the external R9 Lite Pro module, that's why I'm switching it off. On the external RF I'm selecting the R9 Lite Pro with the access protocol. In the next days I will build a test quadcopter with the R9 Mini OTA access receiver to go on testing this new hardware with the new access protocol. Last a short look at the manual of the R9M Lite Pro. Here we can read how the registration and automatic binding of the access protocol works. But next we are going to focus on the new FreeSky Tyrannus X9D Plus 2019 that also comes with a new access protocol. The new Tyrannus X9D Plus comes packed and protected in a transmitter case, with some stickers, a manual and the FreeSky neck strap. So this is the FreeSky Tyrannus X9D Plus SE 2019 in dark blue, with hall gimbals and the new access protocol. Now we are doing just a quick side by side comparison of the FreeSky X9D Plus 2019 with the X9 Lite and the old X9D Plus. First thing to notice is that FreeSky has replaced the right three buttons with a scroll button. The X90 Plus 2019 comes with a full size module bay and it's compatible with the FreeSky R9M long range module. Next. 
Next, we are going to switch on the Tyrannis X90 Plus 2019 to take a look at the setup menu. On the internal RF, we can also select between the new access protocol and the old D16 mode. So all new FreeSky transmitters seem to be backwards compatible and you can also use these new radios with your old FreeSky receivers. On the external RF, we can select the different possible modules. I need to update my OpenTX version to use my R9M with the EU or Flex firmware. But as we can see, there's no option for an R9M access module available yet. At this time, we can only use the benefits of the access protocol on the internal module with the new FreeSky X9D Plus 2019. So that's it, I can show you more at this moment. Next I will update my FreeSky Tyrannus, FreeSky R9M modules and receivers to the latest firmware and I also want to build a new quad based on the umbrella 5 inch frame in order to test both new FreeSky transmitters with different FreeSky receivers and the access protocol. In my next videos I will show you how to flash and how to set up the new FreeSky transmitters and receivers and also how they perform on different flight scenarios. On my first look at the new FreeSky transmitters I'm pretty impressed. They are all backwards compatible and we are also ready for the new access protocol. In my opinion there's no reason not to buy the new FreeSky transmitters. We won't lose any option of the old FreeSky transmitters, we are just winning new options like the new access protocol, whether or not we are going to use it. Tell me in the comments below what you would like to see in my next videos about the new FreeSky hardware and also what you think about these new products. Thank you for watching and see you next time.